In this short video, we're going to explore how to multiply algebraic fractions. So, the process is quite simple. Before we do any multiplying, we're going to factor all of the numerators and denominators completely. And then, before multiplying, we're going to simplify by taking out any forms of 1. And then, after simplifying, then we'll multiply the numerator times the numerator and the denominator times the denominator. So let's start with an example with just common fractions. And so I'll go ahead and factor the numerators and denominators completely. And in this case, then that means getting down to the prime factors. And so when I write out the prime factorization now as a single fraction, right? This is 9 times 28, so here's my 9 times 28, 14 times 81, now as a single fraction. To make things simpler, I'm going to rearrange the factors so that the common factors or the forms of 1 are clear. And after I do that and take out the forms of 1, what's left on the top is just 1 times 1 times 1 times 1 times 2, and on the bottom, I just have 1 times 3 times 3, or 2 over 9. So here, same idea, second example. We've got some variables, so we go ahead and factor everything completely, and then write it as a single fraction. And then I just arrange it. Uh, the only thing I did was change the order of the top, and that's what I recommend. Just do one, either the top or the bottom. Don't rearrange both. And then you can see the forms of 1, and after taking out the forms of 1, what's left on top is only 5, and what's on the bottom is I have a 3 times an x times a y squared. And then, on the bottom I have, yes, the 12xy squared. Okay, good. Now, uh, going to multiply out fractions with polynomials, so I'm going to go ahead and factor all of these completely. The 2m minus 3 is already prime. m squared minus 1 I can factor as the product of conjugates. m squared plus 5 plus 4, that one I can figure out as being m plus 4 and m plus 1. This one I need to think about, 2m squared plus 5m minus 12, so let's go ahead and do that on the side here. I'm looking for two numbers which multiply to make negative 24, 2 times negative 12, and add to make 5. And those numbers would be positive 8 and negative 3. So I would replace the plus 5m with 8m minus 3m, and then go ahead and factor by grouping to get 2m minus 3 times m plus 4. So once I've got everything factored completely, and now it's written as a single fraction, I'll go ahead and rearrange the factors so that I can see the forms of 1. And then the only thing that uh, is not a form of 1 is I do have this factor of m minus 1 in the numerator. So I could write it as m minus 1 over 1. That's fine. But any number over 1 is just that number. So I could also write that as m minus 1. 